here we have the number 107 cube so what am i going to do is i'm going to break down this number into two parts 10 and 7 this 10 is a so the value of a is 10 and the value of b is 7 so i'm going to write four terms here which you can identify uh, by the four terms of the algebraic identity a plus b whole cube so i'm going to write a cube then i'm going to write a square b then i'm going to write a b square and then b cube remember you have to write them in this order only a is 10 so 10 cube is 1000 a square 10 square 100 and times 7 is 700 and then a times b square 7 square is 49 times 10 is 490 and then 7 cube is 343 now once you write these four numbers half job is done and the remaining half will be done when you write the double of the center two numbers middle two numbers below them so 700 becomes 1400 like this and 490 becomes 980 like this and now just have to put a horizontal line and start writing your answer from the right hand side so the unit digit 3 it comes down without any change this 34 gets added to the previous step so now 4 comes down as it is and this remaining part 98 101 150 so this 150 is carried forward here you can write it on top or here then 0 comes down without any change 140 and 70 is 210 225 this 225 is carried forward here and so when you add them 1225 this forms the remaining part of your answer now you can pick up the calculators and check 107 cube is that 1225043 you will be surprised to see the result things are not difficult friends it's just about thinking about the numbers correctly in the mind. Likewise, if you have this number, here A is 11, the first two digits, and B is 4, the last digit. So I'll write the uh, four numbers which I told you here. A cube, 11 cube is 1331. A square, 121 times 4. So 121 times 4, 484. We will write here. And now a times b square so 16 times 11 and 16 times 11 is 176 and finally 4 cube 64 to be written here and now double this up 2 fours are 8 2 eight are 16 6 1 carry and 9 double this up 340 352 and then put the vertical line and you can start doing the same thing which we did here retaining the unit digit and carrying forward the remaining part so the 4 comes down the 6 gets carried forward here so 6 8 14 so 4 and a 1 carry now this part will be the carryover part this part so 17 and 35 is 52 so 53 53 gets carried over here and then 8 plus 4 12 plus 3 15 so 5 and a 1 carry now this part will be carried over to the next stage so this is 9 15 20 0 2 11 15 so again 150 carried over because the sum of 148 96 and 5 is 150 and now just add this so you get 1 8 4 and 1 here we have the result 114 cube is 1 4 8 1 544 now friends little bit of mental addition little bit of knowledge of squaring uh, you know quick addition quick very very quick addition rather these forms the base of these kind of tricks and if you are comfortable in those basic things everything will work out well we have the vedic maths course uh, for especially for the addition subtraction part in which we have 61 different videos and 114 worksheets you can download that course from uh, learning loop app this is the name of the app and i'm sure you're going to find it very very useful so i'll give you one question this is 152 uh, cube as a diy do it yourself question 
and uh, i would like to comment uh, uh, ask you to comment you know uh, how much time did you take to um, solve this 152 cube and could you get the correct answer in the first attempt i'll do this 20 uh, and 6 so this is a and this is b so i'll write the four numbers a cube a square b a b square and b cube 6 cube is 216 so i'll write it here 6 square is 36 times 20 36 times 2 is 72 right so 720 and then a square b so 20 square is 400 400 times 6 is 2400 there we go and then 20 cube is 8000 so once you write these four numbers i have like most of the part of the calculation is done just have to double this 4800 write it below this 1440 write it below this and start doing the same thing which i told you 6 comes down 21 carried over so this is 1 comes down and then you have to add these numbers right so this is 8 carry over and then 14 plus 7 21 218 carried over so you have a 8 coming down and then this part 6 7 20 7 41 7 41 Carried over, so you have one, four, seven, eight. So the cube of two hundred and six is seven. Sorry, eight, seven, four, one, eight, one, six. Here we have three hundred and six cube and four hundred and thirteen cube. So how do you find the cube of three hundred and six? So you have to consider this thirty as a and this six as b. Likewise, in four hundred and thirteen, you have to consider forty-one as a and three as b. So I told you, whenever you have to find the cube of three-digit numbers, you split it into two parts and then write four numbers: a cube, a square b, a b square, and b cube. Now these are the four numbers which you have to write in both cases. So a cube is thirty cube. Three cube is Twenty-seven, right? So twenty-seven followed by three zeros. That will be thirty cube. And then a square b. A square is thirty square, which is nine hundred times six. Nine six is fifty-four. And then double zero because it was nine hundred times six. And then a b square. B square is thirty-six times thirty. Thirty-six times three is one zero eight. So one zero eight and a zero that gives you thirty six times thirty and then six cube is two hundred and sixteen. Now these are the four numbers which you have to get to very very quickly and smartly. Likewise, if you see here, we require the cube of forty one. Now finding the cube of forty one can itself be a challenge for so many students. so what i will do here is i will apply the same method to find the cube of 41 first and without finding the cube of 41 you can't do it this is a challenge which i'll be leaving for you to solve because this involves the using of this particular method two times one for cubing 41 and the other one for cubing 413 So let's complete this first. Fifty-four hundred. The double is one zero eight double zero. I'll write it below this. One zero eight zero. The double of this is two one six zero. So I will write it below this like this. And then I'll put the horizontal line and start writing from the unit digit six twenty one carried forward. So this is one. And now this part. Will be carried over. So three hundred twenty four twenty six three twenty six. I will carry forward here. So this is six, which comes down, and then this part will be again carried over. So fifteen hundred uh, and one twenty sixteen twenty sixteen fifty two. So sixteen fifty two comes here, and now write all the digits. This is two. This is five. This is six, this is eight, and this is two. Now let's pick up the calculators and check whether we have 
got the correct answer for this or not i am sure you are going to be surprised that the cube of 306 is indeed 28652616 so i am leaving this question as a diy for you you have to post in your comments what answer did you get here let me tell you the basic first you have to do 41 cube first because you will require a cube that is 41 cube so for doing 41 cube you have to consider this as a and this as b so a cube a square b a b square and b cube that's pretty easy see 32 and then 8 and then 1 12 means 2 and a 1 carry this is 48 49 9 4 carry and then 68 so very quickly you can find the cube of 41 using the same method i've done it in 10 seconds you can do it in 3 to 4 seconds also 6 8 9 2 1 you will be using it as a cube and then after that the process will get much much easier so let's work on this this is a diy question i'll wait for your comments